Good morning, good morning. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing great. So, it's the first day of the week. It's Sunday again. Sunday all day long. So, today is Sunday and it's your turn to say the date. So, who can help me? I need someone smart to say the date. So, let's read it together. April 12, 2020. Well done, everyone. Well done. So, get some papers to write the day and date. Don't forget to do this every time before starting the lesson. And I want to ask you about your weekend. How was it? What did you do? Did you help your mom? Did you play? Good. Good, everyone. And something else. I want to start the lesson by doing some actions. Do you remember last week we've learned some action verbs? Or let me say, we, we've learned what does an action verb mean? So let's do some actions. I want you to stand up, sit down, stand up again, shout hooray, and say, it's English time! Well done, everyone! So today, we have a new lesson. We're going to learn eight vocabulary words. Eight. So, that's why I want you to be ready, focused, and please sit properly. Well done. And I want to say something else, or I want to tell you something else. Please get your English book because we are going to use the English book. Well done. I'm going to wait for you. Get the English book and come back. So everyone, let's get started and start the lesson of today. So... By the end of the lesson, you will be able to understand the meaning of each word and also to use grade level vocabulary in sentences. Here there is a link and I want you to watch the link later on. After teaching you the words, you can go uh, and visit the link. Here we go. As you can see, our vocabulary words. So let's get started with the lesson of today. As I said to you, I want you to be focused and listen carefully. So everyone here are the words that we need to know or we are going to learn today. So I want you please to open page 196. Use your English book and open page 196. So everyone here is the first word. And I want you to look at the picture. So, try to read the sentence and describe the picture using, remember, adjective words to guess the meaning of the U word. So I'm going to give you some time. Tell me what can you see. So there are three people doing something interesting or unusual. They are visiting the forest and this is something people don't do every day. So we call this Adventure. Well done. So I want you to listen to the word and repeat it again. Listen to the word and repeat it again, please. Adventure. Adventure. 
Adventure. Adventure. I want to travel around the world and find adventure. To find adventure means to do something unusual or something exciting. Let's go over here. Adventure. If someone likes adventure, they like doing exciting and unusual things. I want to travel around the world and find adventure. Where might you go to find adventure? So everyone, please be careful. Uh, adventure means doing exciting and unusual things. Doing exciting and unusual things. Let's move to the second word. So everyone, I want you also to read the sentence and describe the picture. Try. So what can you see? Let's watch the short video together. Delighted. If you feel delighted, you feel very pleased about something. So this is the word. I want you to listen carefully and repeat. Delighted. 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 Ling was delighted when her grandmother came to visit. So, it means you are happy or pleased. You are happy or pleased. So, here the girl um, is feeling happy because her grandmother came to visit her. So, delighted means we can say happy. Delighted. If you feel delighted, you feel very pleased about something. Ling was delighted when her grandmother came to visit. What makes you feel delighted? So, everyone, think about this question. What makes you feel delighted or, let me say, happy? I'm going to give you some time. Yes, so there are many reasons can make you delighted or happy. Let's say when your mom gives you a hug or gets you a new toy. So there are, let me say, a lot of reasons. So everyone, let's continue learning. The new vocabulary words, this is one of them. I want you to look at the word, try to read it. It will be great if you can. Okay, now let's move to the picture. So I want you to tell me what can you see. Also, the sentence will help you to understand the meaning. So you can see, or what can you see? Let's say it together. Yes, there is a boy sleeping. And he's dreaming. So a dream is something that you see during your sleep. So the dream might be something that happen with you or it will happen in the future let me say something let me say something sometimes you imagine yourself or you want to be a doctor or a teacher or like your dad in the future so we call this is or we call this a dream and you need to work so hard to follow and chase your dream and to make your dream come true so let's let's see or let's read the word i want you to listen carefully to the word and repeat it okay everyone let's go ahead i want to hear you repeating the word let's go ahead 
Dream. 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 Juan dreamed of being an actor when he grows up. So the boy dreamed of of being an actor when he grows up. Actor means, you know, the people you see in the movies or let me say when you go to the cinemas they are acting we call them or we can say they are actors dreamed if you dreamed about something you want to happen you imagined it happening Juan dreamed of being an actor when he grows up what is something you have dreamed about so brainstorm and try to think about what is something you have dreamed about so everyone uh, look at the word over here try to read the word if you can just move to the picture and try to describe what can you see i'm going to give you some time as you can see there are two kids and they look happy so they are enjoying their time so the word is enjoyed let's listen to the word together it's super easy enjoyed i want you to repeat enjoyed we enjoyed playing in the pool on the hot day okay so one say it one more time enjoyed well done let's see the definition enjoyed if you enjoyed doing something you liked doing it we enjoyed playing in the pool on the hot day what is another word for enjoyed so if you enjoy doing something you like doing it you like doing it so this is the meaning so think about this question what is another word for enjoyed so let's move now to the next word okay so look over here look at the boy he's holding his stomach so let's go and see the word crumbled i want you to repeat the word please crumbled 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 my stomach grumbled because i was hungry so my stomach grumbled because i was hungry so i want you everyone to listen carefully to the sound um that sometimes come from your uh, or sorry comes from your uh, stomach when you are hungry so listen to the sound grumbled if something grumbled it made a low rumbling sound so have you heard the sound let me let you hear it one more time grumble if something grumbled it made a low rumbling sound well done so let's read the definition grumbled if something grumbled it made a low rumbling sound my stomach grumbled because i was hungry if an engine grumbled what would it sound like so grumbled it made a low rumbling sound that comes from your stomach when you are hungry let's move to so everyone we are about to finish three more words left so this word is super easy i just want you to look at the picture and tell me what can you see i'm gonna give you some time excellent so you can see the moon or let me say the light or the moonlight reflection on the ocean do you see the light the light of the moon so moonlight can help 
sailors see at night. So everyone, let's listen to the word and repeat the word together. Moonlight. 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 Moonlight can help sailors see at night. Moonlight. Moonlight is the moon's glow that you often see at night. Moonlight can help sailors see at night. What else can moonlight help you do? Okay, think about this question. What else can moonlight help you do? And remember, moonlight is the moon's glow that you can or that you often see at night. So, everyone, two words left. And we are about to finish. So, look at the picture and tell me what can you see. So, people are visiting each other. Also, they bring food. So, let's go to the word and hear what is it. Neighbor. Neighbor means the people who live next to your house. And by the way, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches, uh, the, uh, let me say, teaches us how to respect our neighbors and to be nice to them and not to hurt them. So, listen to the word and repeat. Neighbor. 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 I went across the street to play with my neighbor. Neighbor. A neighbor is a person who lives near you. I went across the street to play with my neighbor. Tell about a neighbor you have. So a neighbor is a person who lives near you. A neighbor is a person who lives near you. Let's go to the last word finally. So it's, listen to the word. Nighttime. 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 I like to watch the stars at nighttime. So as you can see, it's nighttime, there's no sun, and usually people sleep during nighttime. And you can see in the sky, or you can see, let me say, only the moon and the stars in the sky. Because during the day, people are working, and you know at the end of the day they are tired and they will let me say sleep during night time night time is the dark part of day i like to watch the stars at night time what is the opposite of night time remember We've studied this in the science subject before. So what is the opposite of night time? So everyone, finally, let's move to task number one. I want you to follow the instructions so you can, uh, you know, solve the question or solve task one. Listen to each sentence. Match the picture that shows what the underlined word means. So match the sentence with the correct picture. So let's go and see the first one. Dreamed. My brother dreamed of sailing a boat. So which one is correct? Or let me say, which one shall I choose? Listen again. Dreamed. My brother dreamed of sailing a boat. Sailing a boat. My brother dreamed of sailing a boat. S 
So which one is correct? Let's, yes, that's correct. The last one. So let's move to adventure. The man found adventure in a hot air balloon. So as I said to you so far, adventure means to do something unusual and people, they don't do it every day. The first one, excellent. Okay, let's move to the last one. Delighted. I am delighted by your gift. So delighted means happy and pleased. So look at them. They are very happy. Oh, she's very happy because she received the gift from her friend. Let's match and see. Great job. Well done. So let's see more words as a region. Okay, so look at the pictures, everyone. Okay, so let's start. Neighbor. I wave to my neighbor across the street. So as I said to you, neighbor uh, or neighbors are the people who live next to your house. Here we go. So let's match. Here are the neighbors. Okay. Enjoyed. We enjoyed our day at the fair. Enjoyed means to, let me say, to have fun and to do something that you like it. Last one. Grumbled. She grumbled about doing her chores. As I said to you, grumbled means to uh, produce a low sound. So it's the last one. Excellent work. So now everyone, let's move to task number two. Choose the correct word from the box below to complete each sentence. So we space our day at the fair so what can we choose i need your help i'm gonna give you some time to think excellent we enjoyed our day at the fair well done let's move to number two i wave to my across the street Look at the picture. Neighbor, excellent, well done. I wave to my neighbor across the street. Number three. I like to watch the moon at, well done, night time. Excellent. So let's check the answers. Well done. Finally, everyone, you have two options. Option number one and option number two. And I want you to go to option number two. Use the vocabulary words to write sentences. So finally, again, I'm going to say finally because I know the lesson of today was too long. After completing your work, don't forget to upload a picture or a video of it in your class dojo portfolio. Thank you so much and have a nice day. Be ready for mathematics time. Bye-bye.